Being. <laughs> yeah. Saturated. Oh, in the corner there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna this. Open. Morning house, no electricity, no running water, except for the water running down the wall. It's an authentic wood panel dishwasher. Complimentary water stains. Well, this side of the house is settling a bit, looks like. Got some deflection cracks. Got the fireplace, the chimney's starting to slant. More deflection cracks. The roof is caved in there. Same thing over here. And we've got a nice little leak. We're checking out some water staining in the ceiling. This water staining is not active. So we're paying over that. We've got a nice little leak happening right over here. So we're gonna Come back and verify it with the protein meter, moisture meter, and ta-da. Right, so we have a not so lovely pool this morning and all kinds of uh, damage and separation along the, co the coping and the tile work. Got some algae growth over here on the spa. We have a lovely crack going all the way through the corner of the spa and coming out on the other side going down so we're definitely going to need that to be looked at they're on that skimmer i got two different levels so the lower side of the skimmer is settling down and the upper side is starting to push up so probably some leaks happening around that skimmer i have water running to several fixtures and even though there's no drain line over here, um, I think I'm underneath the laundry room. We got some sort of water uh, leaking pretty steadily. And then same thing over here. We got water leaking from between the joists. Somebody forgot an electrical outlet or a gas connection for the dryer. You were almost there, man. Got a little bit of freeze board pulling activity. So we're gonna check out the rest of the wall. We're looking for any cracks or any signs of movement. A lot of times the windows will separate during movement. So we wanna keep an eye out for that. Houston, Texas basement. Yeah, space. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're at a new construction here um, up on the rooftop, and we have a tankless water heater. Um, and whenever they're, they're outside, they usually have the vent out the front where the carbon monoxide will come out. But right next to this one, you have your fresh air intake. So. Every so many minutes out of an hour, um, whatever it's set to, this is going to pull fresh air into the house or into the, um, the air conditioning. And if you have the water heater running at the same time, well then you're going to get carbon monoxide running into the fresh air intake. Whoops. This is a 2005 house. Um, all of the HVAC equipment, ductwork is all original. Get around the corner here. And it looks like uh, for about 17 years now, we've been air conditioning the attic. So we got the end of the duct, just open to the attic space there. And then it sh I assume it should connect right there because that's also open in that plenum box. But uh, 
someone forgot to uh, connect those two. And it's been that way for 17 years. Rainy day inspections are usually the best. This one did not disappoint. There's water dripping from the ceiling. It's pretty fantastic. Got some high quality water heater installed in this new construction. This water heater is not on the level compared to the other one. And then uh, this one's got a sediment trap for the gas supply line. And this one does not. He says sagging decking. I'm in the Heights of Houston doing a termite inspection and come across the shed. When I'm going around the walls, I like to tap the walls and I can hear frass falling down the walls from up top. So then I look down, look for the pile and found some drywood termite frass. It's about the shape of some couscous, a little piece of rice, and it's got these little ridges on it. The termites of Houston, they'll never give up. You gotta watch out for this ivy touching the house. There's some rot, and the termites will never let you down. And then sometimes you have to run around the house and make sure they didn't desert you. We got a nice termite tube going right here. If you ever see this type of screw in place you typically um, it might be a pointed tip screw so you want to be very careful whenever you're opening up the panel you don't want it to, to arc on you there it is right there leak detection is a critical part of the home inspection process let's go check it out we're in a new build and we got a leak <laughs> Found it. Oh, found it. Oh, found it. When you're buying a home in the Houston Heights, you want to be prepared for drywood termites. That is some drywood termite frass. This is very common around Houston. Checking out the sprinkler system, zone two. We got a problem. Heating and air conditioning systems depend on a load calculation to determine how much air conditioning tonnage you need for your home. Big part of that is, well, part of it is the insulation depth. And here in this new build, there appears to be 12 inches of insulation. This area, the insulation is a little piled up. So I was wondering what the average area looked like. So let's grab the measuring stick from the insulation guys <clears throat> and check the average, you know, just a, a general area. Oops. Let's see what we got. It's about eight. That might throw off the air conditioning. Okay, we are on a 9,500 square foot new build. Uh, up in the attic, we have a high efficiency furnace. Uh, we have the PVC pipes, uh, but we do not have not. We don't have a gas line installed. It'd come through there, and there's your heat exchanger, but no gas is installed to it. So it's obviously not going to work. And then we noticed before we took the cover off, we noticed some water in the pan. And so we opened up the cover, saw the water there, and we see a little water dripping. And that's for the flu going to the exterior. So we got, uh, it is raining outside currently. And so we have a, a flu leaking to the interior of the cabinet. Here's another example of a uh, poor planning in the construction process. We have a HVAC unit in a closet. Uh, the drain line is blocking the filter door so we can't open the filter door. And then my, my favorite is, here's your return intake and there's gonna be a door here. And so when we close the door, we block the return air.
brand new build. Why do I need to get my new build inspected? Let's take a look at this water heater flue. This is our air return chase. Filter's a little dirty. We also have a gas line running through here, which is not allowed. And that gas line is uh, made of CSST, which needs to be properly bonded.